When stars with a mass 10 to 25 times that of our sun die, they explode in spectacular fashion, a supernova, an explosion so incredibly powerful that for just a brief moment, they release more energy than all the stars in the visible universe. What's left behind, the former core of the old star, has condensed into an entirely new entity, known as a neutron star. These stars are made of the densest form of matter we know of, something that was once iron but now so compressed under its own gravity that it no longer resembles ordinary matter at all. Just one teaspoon of this stuff would weigh the same as 1,000 great pyramids of Giza, and yet, one of the most fascinating things about these objects is that they are almost perfect spheres. To truly understand how perfect they really are, it's best to start with our own solar system. The Earth is actually very smooth. We don't appreciate how smooth it is because we exist on such a small scale living on its surface. Turn to the horizon on a clear day and you will notice that you cannot see any curvature whatsoever. In order to see the curvature of Earth with your own eyes, you would have to be higher than Mount Everest, which stands at a colossal 8.8 .8 kilometers high. You might be thinking, well, don't mountains completely contradict the idea of the Earth being smooth? Well, even if we take the highest point on Everest and go all the way down to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, some 11 kilometers below the ocean surface, that's still only a difference of 20 kilometers. Compared to the Earth's total diameter, which is 12,742 kilometers, that's only 0.15%. This means that if you could shrink the Earth down to fit in the palm of your hand, then it would feel as smooth as a billiard ball. That really is quite smooth. But is it round? Hmm, not quite. The Earth's spin creates centrifugal forces that act at the equator, causing it to bulge out. It is not a perfect sphere, but rather an oblate sphere. In fact, this bulging is quite significant and amounts to around 43 kilometers, even more than the differences in surface variations between the mountains and the sea. So if we did shrink it down to a billiard ball, it wouldn't be round enough to be classed as a billiard ball at all. Despite how smooth the surface would feel, in your hand. Our sun, however, is a much more perfect sphere, in part due to its incredible gravity. This hot ball of plasma 1.4 million kilometers in diameter rotates once every 24 days. This means the resulting centrifugal forces paired with its intense gravity create a bulge of only 10 kilometers at the equator, which when compared to its overall size makes it astonishingly round. The bulge of the sun is only 0.0007% of its diameter. Or in other words, if the sun were the same size as the earth, then its bulge would be only 100 meters. This makes the Sun rounder than any other body in the solar system, rounder than Jupiter, Saturn, and far rounder than the Earth. Yet in spite of this, it still pales in comparison to that of a neutron star. This neutron star weighs in around 1.4 solar masses, but has a diameter of only 10 kilometers. The gravitational forces are so strong that it warps time itself. One hour on the surface of this star would be one hour 15 minutes on Earth, meaning time moves more slowly here. If you were somehow able to land on the surface, you would immediately be liquefied and spread across the surface like a thin paste icing on a neutron cake, barely one atom thick. The only thing stopping this star from collapsing under its own gravity is the Pauli exclusion principle, 
essentially a law of quantum mechanics which prevents the matter getting any closer together than it already is. If it were able to feed on more mass, say from a nearby star, then even the Pauli exclusion principle would not be able to stop it collapsing behind an event horizon, forming a black hole. The immense gravity has forced the mass of the star so compactly together that its highest point, its Mount Everest, is less than half a millimetre tall. If it were the same size as Earth, then its tallest mountain would be less than one metre high. Only a tiny fraction of its overall diameter. Although this makes the neutron star very smooth, it is not completely round. Just like how the spin of the Earth creates a bulge at its equator due to the immense centrifugal forces, this star has a far more extreme version of this effect. Condensing the mass of one and a half suns into an object only 10 kilometers wide has meant that this is now spinning at a phenomenal rate. Just how a figure skater spins faster as they pull their arms inwards, this neutron star is now spinning 700 times a second quarter of the speed of light. The resulting centrifugal forces at its equator are so severe that they are able to fight its intense gravity to create an oblate sphere like that of Earth. Neutron stars like this are called millisecond pulsars. They emit beams of light, pulses, from their poles in rotations lasting less than 10 milliseconds so that they spin hundreds of times a second. Like intergalactic lighthouses, but where the lighthouse spins so fast it doesn't appear to flicker at all, it just looks like a very, very bright, continuous light. Most neutron stars, however, spin with a more humble 1 to 10 rotations a second. Not all neutron stars shine this way. Over time, they are thought to lose their energy pulsing for around 10 to 100 million years until they eventually stop pulsing altogether. Of all the neutron stars theorized to exist, 99% of them are thought to no longer pulse. As they continue to lose their rotational energy, their spins slow, reducing their centrifugal forces. Although this makes them more perfectly rounded, for many of them, this will also mark their death sentence. Their centrifugal forces were also working to hold them back from collapsing into a black hole. Like a twist of irony, these stars, which first shined so unbearably and unimaginably bright, reach perfection right as their light fades out completely. Perfect spheres collapsing into perfect darkness. In summary, old isolated neutron stars are likely to be the smoothest and roundest objects in the known universe. It's humbling to think there could be tens of millions of them drifting quietly in our very own Milky Way galaxy. And in a way, it's almost sad to think Mother Nature is capable of creating something so elegant only to have it consumed by the darkness of a black hole. Even black holes cannot take their crown because black holes spin much faster than neutron stars do, some at the speed of light, their event horizons are also oblate spheroids, making them less round than a neutron star. The title for the perfect sphere really belongs to the neutron star. Perfectly smooth and perfectly round, they are truly majestic entities, royalty of the stellar kind. <laughs>